Dun, 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 dun. You What's said, that? are you ready for this? What's that? <laughs> Was that like a Mortal Kombat, like royalty free version? Sure. Is it what? what were you, was there a song you had in mind? Or were no, you just, not really. You just sounded like you were just bopping along. Bop, 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 really bop, bop, into it. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm embarrassed. Oh my God. It was the funniest article I've ever read in my entire life. I watched a couple of compilation videos on YouTube. I've got it all figured out. You're listening to the No Big Banana Podcast. Welcome back to the No Big Banana Podcast. My name is Charles. My name is Justin. And it's Tuesday, and we're going to talk oh, about shit. anime. Oh, although shit. I have an announcement that I have to make first. Go for it. And this will probably be the first public forum where I do it, but then I'll probably do it on my socials and stuff later. Unfortunately, and with regret, I have to delay the album. I know. It sucks. I don't want to do this it. This is the first I'm hearing of this. I was, uh, yeah. I was very excited that I would have the opportunity to release it on Halloween, but it occurs to me that making the album the way that I want it to be made is more important than when it comes out. Mm-hmm. Um, artistic integrity. That said, and and on another artistic integrity note, mm-hmm. I did say in D&D Swag that I would have the album to you before Christmas. Oh, there you go. So it's going to be Christmas Eve. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to fly in on that last minute. <laughs> that Just last drop it minute, on Thanksgiving. That's where I thrive, bro. No, oh, last Chris, minute panic? Christmas Eve. That reminds be out me of on like, Christmas um, Eve. And it'll be up for pre-order before then. But, yes, or get your tickets in. Nah. <laughs> but it'll release. Join the party. It'll release on Christmas Eve and I'm sorry for the delay but I promise that it'll be worth it because I'll have time to make it better and it'll be worth the wait. I'll yeah. make it worth the wait. When you um, said uh, last minute panic that reminded me of a Calvin and Hobbes comic strip. Where he's oh. like, Aren't you getting ready for it? And he's like yeah well everybody does. I do my best work on a last minute panic. Yeah. That's the best work. Dude. Calvin was like a role model for me. Oh yeah. He was the best. He was that- honestly like one of the largest figures in my childhood. Yeah. He's, I had all the books. I still have most of them. The the best one, <laughs> there, there's a couple of them, but one of my favorite ones is when he's nailing nails into the coffee table. <laughs> yeah. Like that's He's just straight up nailing yeah, nails into the coffee it. table. And then she comes in and she's like, what are you doing? And then he looks at the table and then looks at her and he's like, is this a trick question? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's like, I it's also, so like, genius. I really love the one because it's just the simplicity of it, but it's like... It's it's just a picture uh, and it's like a really long like it's instead of three panels it's just one long panel and uh calvin and Hobbes are both in like a snow fort or like a made their own like kind of snow castle yeah and then there's just like a bunch of thrown snowballs like just barely hitting each other and they're like i guess we i guess we built these too far apart huh oh yeah and it's just perfect yeah that'd yeah. be a great tattoo like to have each one on each arm. Oh yeah, thing. that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Do you have any tattoos? I do not. Me neither. I can't think of one that I'd want for the rest of my life. Have you? You've always felt that way. Well, I've always, I mean, well, I've probably. always wanted them, but like <laughs> you don't have any. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I I also like I have pretty sensitive skin, so like I'm worried that like it'll fuck up. Do you horribly. not like needles? No, it has nothing to. do. I used to donate plasma all the time. Oh, okay. And blood, but like, and semen. So it's Not just, it's together. more of a skin thing, which yeah. by the way, I get, because I've got pretty sensitive skin myself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I use like the wrong kind of deodorant, oh, yeah. I'm fucked. Same. Yeah. Or like laundry detergent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just destroys me, yeah. Yeah, so I feel you on that. I, You know what's funny? I made an agreement with my mother. Oh, really? It was like a birthday gift or something. I don't know. But for, some, for some reason, we made an, 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 an agreement that I would wait until I was 21 to get a tattoo. Okay. And by the time I was 21, oh, that's I plan. was not confident enough that in anything plan. that I would be I'm, like the same way. Like I'm, I'm a kind of person who I'm, I can't, I'm kind of, I'm kind of wet sand in yeah, terms I of think, like um, what my interests are. So I've, like, I've heard a, I've heard, I've heard like a good idea is like to put a picture of something you want as a tattoo on like your room, like on the wall of your room or something. I would so just you, leave it there forever. So you look at it every day. And if you still like it by the end of like a year, then it's then you should that get the follows tattoo. i mean i'm sure that there are some things like i remember when i was 18 i really wanted an elephant like really fucking bad. yeah like just as a pet <laughs> well i mean i still would love that but if you could get like a baby elephant yeah i think we've had down. this conversation we absolutely have it's, it's still a fucking baby elephant yeah but if you could get it and also you would have to get it through like moral ways so like let's mm. say that you were on a safari and there was a, a panicked mother elephant yeah. giving birth to a calf and you were able to assist in the delivery of the calf 
but the mother died while while I, giving birth to the you elephant. You know, it, it feels like that, that. Then you could become the elephant's new parent. The new mother. Right. That would be through moral means, in my opinion. I, Otherwise, you're just taking away a baby elephant from its mother, which well, is uncool. Like, dude, it's going gonna, it's gonna to become a regular-sized elephant eventually. Oh, yeah. Probably quicker than you might think, oh, too. Oh, sure, yeah. I wonder what their growth period is I like. I have no idea. I bet it's... I wonder if they grow... There's cause... that guy on YouTube that does, like, videos where he's just, like, he has, like, an old-school piano that he, like, takes outside, and he, like, I guess lives in Africa or some shit, and he'll just play, like, Moonlight Sonata for his elephants. Oh, that's cool. And they'll cool. just kind of, like, walk over and like lay down have you seen the ones that can paint yeah yeah that shit they're is super nuts, intelligent man. dude they're more yeah they're, they're dead, really like, smart fuck, man. also after seeing like whatever that fucking horrific documentary is about the what was it tiny the elephant mm, the one that yeah. they killed in hawaii fucking because it broke out and it's like at F that chat, point boys. it's like F i mean chat. yeah but you know what what's the alternative that's why i don't like fucking zoos or anything man. i mean like, how many fucking people is that thing gonna kill that's why like what what a strange species we are that we are an animal on this planet and we just keep other animals in captivity just what the fuck of it it is weird like i get like conservation efforts and stuff or like, or studying yeah you know like it's one thing to do research i think if it's it in, if it's in the name of science and it's in the name of bettering life in general and not I mean, just sure, human life can, but like, like life to but the, again that also like that's imposing like our own like set of conscriptions on it hey, yeah this is good for the benefit of the world it's like fucking dolphin doesn't know that you know what i mean like yeah that's true well maybe they do i'm 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 do. with the hitchhiker's guide ideology about that shit oh yeah i think the dolphins like and then if you ever listen to like a rogan stand up about dolphins <laughs> he'll tell you they are they're pretty fucking, rapey they are they're, well they're pretty not only that rapey. but like they're real fucking close right i feel oh, like sure. they're as close to us as have you seen that video are. of like the like it's like a mirror or something and the like, person's like got the dolphin in the back and they're like just like what a normal person would do and then the dolphin just like smacks his head into it and then screams have you seen that video oh, i'll send you that video no that's a good time that sounds terrible i think they just like ed- like someone added the screaming because it's a very like uh, human scream well yeah that and it's just a very like um wilheim scream kind of thing oh okay but it's yeah great. Uh, yeah i think that the doll i think the dolphins are just like the aquatic chimps in <laughs> comparison to us ah uh, yes the aquatic chimp yeah just <laughs> i mean like <laughs> i mean like proximity uh, wise like yeah. genetically like how close they are to us, us. Yeah, yeah for sure so like chimps are the closest th- to us on land i think dolphins are obviously the closest to us in water they're so fucking smart and they communicate yeah. and they name each other they have names for each other mm-hmm. like they've discovered that and they have sex for pleasure and rogan i think made a good point in his bit about dolphins, it, where he's rape, like, dolphins are living the life like you just fucking f- swim around and there's fish everywhere like yeah. nothing's gonna catch <laughs> you fucking, it's like a, sh- yeah. shark's not gonna catch you like maybe a mako but a mako probably wouldn't fuck with you like nah. they're they're going after tuna and shit yeah it, you got it made yeah bro <laughs> like you just kind of like a hole you got an extra hole on yeah you? dude just in you know how much fun space. you can have with a third hole yeah fourth hole fifth that's hole? true Sixth? i don't know how many holes does a human being have? <laughs> how many holes does a dolphin have? <laughs> how many holes does a human have for that matter? Oh, that's true. Uh, I don't know. Only. That depends on what you call it, uh, what you would consider a hole. Because mm. if you're going to be one of those people that's like, well, what about your pores? Shut. Then, anybody who says that. Then you're on some like thalassophobia shit. No. What's oh, it? What is it? Tri- I, tri- tri- no. Uh, trip- no. No, no. Tri- tryptophan? <laughs> no, it's not tryptophan. <laughs> It's no, it's I know what you're saying. It's like the lotus holes. skin. It's like that lotus skin shit. Oh, yeah. it gives me shivers just thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, but I don't consider it a fear. I think that no, it just makes like, my skin crawl. Yeah, it's just uncomfortable. Yeah, even just thinking about it, like <laughs> I used to be. I, I still kind of have a pretty big phobia about clowns. Really? Chlorophobia. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a common one too. I think it's because it's, maybe you should it's, watch a bunch of like clown porn. And it's then more, it like, stop no being way. weird for you. It's more about feeling Is like it someone's. It's more like about feeling like someone someone's hiding something like i'm not partial to mimes either mimes like not that i'm not not that i'm afraid of them just that it's like what are you doing yeah what what is this (laughs) what's happening why why are you this why are you doing what is who hurt you i'm supposed to pretend that's a piano what's going on you're behind a fucking (laughs) this is weird plus like that's not entertaining it's like who thought who thought i know i'll get them (laughs) Well, I'll just wear black and white well, and just I, act like I'm in a well, snowstorm. Well, think about at the time that it was like presented, it probably was like, it, well, whoa. it probably had something to do it's with like, like he has um, a piano, but there's no piano. Well, like, it probably had something to do with the um, the advent of like 
films without audio to it? Silent film. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a better way to say it. Yeah, but I mean, dude, silent film people were films miming, without audio. You know people were miming shit in like medieval times. You know jesters were doing shit like that. Yeah, jesters can get fucked too. But that's what I mean. Like, and like and, well, I mean, I guess like who's to say that we're not the modern era clowns? Yeah, that's very true. We're more refined though. I mean, not really. maybe. I say a lot of dick jokes. I don't know. Do you remember I when think... I was talking about dolphins having extra holes? <laughs> yeah. Not very intelligent. <laughs> yeah, two minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you know what I just realized? We haven't talked what? about anime at all. Yeah. We, it's probably because we spent like 10 minutes talking about anime before we started the podcast. Yeah, right? that's true. ReZero, I have not. The new one's not out yet, is it? No. The newest one? Uh, the newest one was where you met all the different witches. Did you see that one yet? Oh, no. Oh, it's awesome. I need to watch it then. Oh, I thought it's I was up good. to date. I guess um, I'm not. Yeah, you would. I, I think you'll really like because like, I'm not going to explain anything about who they are or, or how they present themselves. But there's one in particular. She's the he's talking at the, the tea party um, with the the witch of uh, greed, greed, and she swaps out bodies so he can talk to the one of gluttony because that's what made the rabbits because he's trying to figure out how to get around that, that oh. little shit. <laughs> yeah. You know? um, that's probably a good question if you could right. ask one like, right. hey, how does that hey, Yeah, How do I stop that? <laughs> yeah. Because um, he finds out that she's the one that made the three big mag- magical beasts or whatever the fuck they call them. Mobbies. Mobbies, that's yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. But a couple other witches like decide to jump in in between because she's like switches her place with the other one. Mm. So you can talk to her at that tea party, and then two other ones pop in. Oh, it's like in. speed dating. Kind of, That's yeah. That's cool. It actually, it really is. <laughs> it really, really, very much is. I like. I appreciate that though. That kind of like, if you can explain it away, as far as like magically, which oh, yeah. obviously they can. But I just mean like, I appreciate that kind of stuff if you can afford it's to great, just like yeah. quick introductions and then to she characters. Comes back and is like, I'm sorry, the other one like was really excited to meet you, so she just jumped in first, and I couldn't stop her. Yeah. yeah. What about Fire Force? Fire Force is pretty cool. So, oh, Scop. Scop is just oh, like, yeah. that when he's leaving, I was just like, oh. Yeah, that, that broke my heart a little bit. I did. Um, leave I, it to fucking gangsta ass Shenra to be like, a second? Yeah, I, I can do I, that. Give me that. That'll yeah. work. I'll, I'll and then she's it. like, oh, you did. And he's like, yeah, I fucking said do I would, Do you think bitch. that that demon he killed was Raffles? No. No, I don't think so. Because there was a distinct, this happened after the Great Cataclysm. And because they also gave him his name. I forget what they called him. But he distinctly had his own name. Well, I know. But that doesn't mean anything. Right, but I'm I'm pretty sure that like this happened after the events. Like I don't I don't think so. Could be. Well it's I, possible. Only because like the his story, like when they ran through it a history. little bit. Yeah. It's pronounced history, Charles. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> But when they ran through it a bit, and then they then they shoved the fucking backstory down your throat again at the end of the episode, which was so annoying. Yeah. But yeah, what the fuck, Fire Force? Well, I mean, I, I they did kind of sh- shoot their wad. Well, I shit already, on it as like, I'm about to like. I probably wouldn't have been able to have this insight had they not run that. So, um, as much as it was annoying, it was helpful in that sense because, like, seeing Although, it right after it happened, it was like that sounds oddly kind of like this guy, where it's like after the great cataclysm, then there was this guy who was in the ashes, and then all it's very Bible. It's like right, what? But like, where I, did that guy come I'm from? If sure, everybody though, was dead. I'm, I'm pretty sure though, like the way that they explain Raffles, at least it being part of like the the holy temple of soul and having to do with uh amaterasu 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 whatever yeah yeah it feels like raffles had his whole journey in japan not on the separate continent because of the connection between that by specifically referring to one as the tabernacle and the other one as that word that i'm not good at saying amaterasu there you go um, I think that that's the distinction between the two of them. I actually made it a point to pause it and look at it and repeat it a few times yeah. so that I could know what this, that it was called cool. when we talked about it. Cool, cool. So I, don't, I got you, homie. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but um, no, I, I, I think that he genuinely was just... There, there's no connection between like Raffles and like the bugs or him being like anywhere near like an unsullied flame. Clearly, this was different. I don't know. It could, though. But I also, like, I would argue that, like, they fucking talk about Raffles in every single fucking episode at the beginning. Like, they're always pushing the backstory stuff. So maybe that's why it didn't make it resonate, like, resonate with me as much. It felt like they were just kind of trying to, um, like, re-hammer in all of the stuff. Because they're probably going to end up, like, breaking it. Like, that's not what really happened, though. Yeah. So it's probably just a matter of, like, now that you're getting some more backstory on, like, 
there are other people kind of like the uh, you good yeah is it is it more more at my at my mouthpiece <laughs> yeah okay go ahead um wow you did it oh yeah you did it. i knew one day episode 60 no. whatever the hell we're on um the the fact that there's like first of all wasn't expecting the i mean i guess i i don't know why i assumed otherwise but like the fact that um they're both female like even the the event evangelist yes being female i don't know why i didn't i still hold i although no she it's the it's because of the programming that's been instilled in you by the white patriarchy justin that's fair that's why the male patriarchy right the white, white the white male patriarchy yeah i guess they are white huh oh they are yeah, I, but, I am know, surprised. I'm with you. I was a little taken aback at that too. I was like, "Oh, I hadn't even considered. I never considered that it wouldn't be a man." Yeah, I guess. I, it, well, just the way that they talk Which about makes him. me a bit sexist. I think it's because they were refer- they, they had to have referred to him as like a him, right? I don't like, know. The evangelist and his men. I like, feel like it would be. Yeah, I feel but, like they had still, to. Still, I mean, the Maybe evangelist like and his the... men doesn't mean anything. Yeah. The oh, evan- and his men. Yeah. Yeah. I'm almost positive. I don't know, man. Somebody look it up. Yeah. Somebody yeah. well somebody in the comments probably already knows. Um actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel probably if, if you knew that the evangelist was a female. I think if we rewatched like, it, subscribe. we would just feel bad about oh, ourselves. Pro- absolutely. That's why I'm doubling down, baby. And then Misfit of Demon King. Oh, yeah. Which is always a super fun so treat. Much fun. It was so fantastic. so 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 good. What a fucking gangster to just like I can't stand tell. up and okay. I knew that was gonna happen. By the way, oh yeah. When I whenever like for homeboy sure. couldn't get his spell to work, I was like, something's up, and your boy's about to fucking. And then like on cue, he was just like, "This is some bullshit." Yeah, like, he's like, it doesn't really mean anything if you know how it works. And then yeah, just pops, dude. and then that, that rabbit turns like gigantic, and then yeah, like, wipes it away, and, and then like, yeah, shuts it down. And they're like, "How I, did you do that?" And he's like, like I'm "The fucking, I'm fucking demon obvious, king, <laughs> a fucking I'm the Voldemort. demon king." Yeah, I think uh, I think it was interesting, like. I, I can't because I've been rewatching it and mm. I can't tell if this is intentional or not, but I think it's supposed to be like, cause it's just funny to me now. Like, especially going back when he's like, what you thought killing me was enough to make me die. Right. You're stupid. Yeah. It's yeah. like just the fact that he's so like non, like just so nonplussed by everything around. Like, it's just like having a good time with it. I'm going like, to find a way to get a mashup of all of those. Oh, yeah. I'll probably have to go and do it myself, so it might be a little time-consuming, but it'll be worth it to just have oh, a super sure. cut of all of his flexes where yeah. he's just like, it, it's like I blink. He can't, yeah, he can't be serious, <laughs> but like, if it was anybody else, you'd be like, oh, look at this fucking tool. But because it's him, well, because I'm telling he you, backs it the fuck up. Uh, well, like, and not only does he back it up, but um, the story is critical. The oh, the stranger sure. yeah. and a strange, the fish out of water. Having like the, the... What a beautiful way to get around the... Like, cause the one thing that the protagonist couldn't do with all that power is to rewrite all this time, all this history. Right. At happened. least not in one swoop. Right. You know, like there, it, it creates a conflict that is there with someone who you would otherwise not see as having any conflict. Exactly. Which is super appealing. It's, it's nice because like in one punch man, or even like to a lesser extent, mob psycho 100, they don't, it, it, it's kind of similar to like Luffy in the sense that like, he just, they don't really care about the world around them. Right. To have a protagonist whose almighty power doesn't really do shit, doesn't really do jack all in front of the odds of like literally even the hero academy. Yeah. It, like all of this history has been rewritten and he has to figure out like what the hell is going on. So like even though like let's be real when he actually meets up with Avo still heavier or whatever, he's just going to wop the fucking floor with him. I mean, maybe. Eh, I mean, have you met Anos? He kind of fought time. Yeah. He literally <laughs> fought the god of time. Yeah. And didn't have any trouble with it. So, like, you know. I, th- I feel like um, Avos Vildegeld, or whatever his name is. Delhevia, I think. Is the one that... I mean, obviously, right? Neo? The the one that the one that rewrote everything. Right? Yeah, for sure. Like, well, he clearly like jumped in at the last second because like, didn't his homeboy uh, come back and say like, "There's no record of uh, Hero Cannon ever being killed by a human." And it's right. Like, well, then why did that chick say that? Like, yeah. it, it's like it, it's interesting because it's like different people have different versions of different information. I still think Lay is canon. Yeah, I think so too. Like. I don't know, because like they definitely. Well, I like, mean, at least a piece of him. I think that. I think the main source is him. I think that he's unconscious to it. 
I think but he's I the think main that source, he's though. the closest to a reincarnation of. Kane. Well, because they said like there are seven sources, but there's like one main one, and so that's why right. like canon as you thought he was doesn't really exist anymore. Yeah. So it would come to because like you know they they did a really good job of like putting that master swordsman that he had next to him like when he was fighting the chick with like the ice or the water water serpent or whatever. Yeah. And he was like. I'd like to be reincarnated in like a different time and like the yeah. school starting over from zero. So like it laid the, the footwork for you to be like, Oh, that's that guy. Yeah. But I think it's Canon. Yeah. And I think, um, I, I will have to say like props to the dude that had stood up in class and was like, uh, any of you motherfuckers want to stand up against this guy? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah. It was just like, and like, it was just this moment of like, got you dog. Yeah. Like, Cause the guy's like, well, I still don't, I don't uh, see you as the demon king. Yeah. Anyone like, else, anyone else oh, doing anything? So did anybody want to step up or yeah, did you want to try? <laughs> like, you, Oh, you motherfuckers you? are real quiet. Man. Oh. The real fucking demon king of tyranny is in this yeah, bitch. bitch. So follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Novik Banana. If you like dolphins, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> if you want to swim with if dolphins. You like elephants. Like, yeah. comment, subscribe. If you like elephants. And if you like black clothes. If you don't like either. Like, comment, Fire subscribe. Force, Free Zero. Just, God like, just of high fucking, school. like, it's one click. Yeah. Like, it takes five se- Like, you're already on this video. Oh, yeah. He's obsessed with you liking the, liking yeah. the video. And just fucking click. It, t- it takes two seconds. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Yeah. You know what time Fuck it that is. Bell. Fuck it hard. See where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Don't, don't, no, no. Is that you trying to make a... Send emails to nobigbanana at gmail.com. That was the worst fake wheel I've ever heard. This is my second favorite flex beyond the fact that Hobson follows me on Twitter. Hobson follows you on Twitter? Yeah. That's hilarious.